ta ra ta m da ra 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 ta m da. Mark, these fireworks are amazing. You're friends with Jane Starwind. <laughs> What? Where are we going, Lark? <sighs> Slow down, Lark! Quick! Under the stand! This Jean Starwind. Shh! Come on out. I need to talk to you. Uh, okay. You're worth more alive in speaking than in pieces and dying. Put your damn hands down. I ain't the police. Now, go where I say. And no one gets shot up like they're made out of paper. <laughs> Get something to drink. Don't be so tense. <laughs> what can I get? Have you heard about that suicide bomber? Uh, it's all over the news. All right, might as well get down to business. I saw you talking to Jane Starwind. Like this, make me not want to know why. He was threatening me. Well, we did. Now, my next question. Is why you? Who are you? And how are you warranting the threat? To be honest with you, all of this is very new to me. What do you mean by that? What I mean is that I didn't know why until he was done speaking with me, so bear with me, okay? Ugh. Looks like you need something to drink. Whatever you're drinking smells, so I don't think so. To each his own. So, go on now. A lot of my memories were lost, and the ones I have are fragmented. What? You got amnesia or something? No, I I'm a bio-android, and... it's complicated. No, I think I get it. We're all like computers one way or another. <laughs> I'm no bio-android, but I'm sure there's something in the databanks about them. Yeah, though I could have lost it if you continued chasing me. Listen, if you're gonna get on my nerves, then I'm gonna stomp on yours. Now. Talk. Gene Starwind. Speaking to him triggered some of my memories. The only clear one I have of him is of the space race both of us competed in in the Haifong system years ago. I was navigating my brother's ship, the El Dorado. <laughs> the El Dorado? You mean the El Dorado? Now how did you get on a ship like that? I mean... Unless you're who I think you are. We were going to fight the outlaw star in the Haifong asteroid belt. We were doing pretty well for a while until our ships engaged in close combat. His ship, the outlaw star, had grappler arms like ours. Just when we began to think we had the upper hand, Gene rammed our ship with this... this drill. He boarded the ship, and then... Those banks. I think I'm beginning to remember. They cause... pain. Did you have some kind of glitch or something? Yeah, I did. Anyway, that's all I know about Gene Starwind. He threatened me today because he was still mad about me attacking his ship. Good reason. There you are! Harry, I got a bone to pick with you! What, Ron? What do you mean, what, Ron? You took my car, didn't you? You know I need to pay the mechanic, right? And I see you went shopping, too! You said we could. <laughs> Man, you sure are stomping on a lot of toes. <sighs> yeah, I guess I did. Who's this? The name's Gallagher. I'm an outlaw. Ron McDougal. <laughs> the Ron McDougal? And my suspicions were correct. So... I saw your brother here talking to Gene Starwind, and I want to know why. Gene? He threatened me. I see. Well, Gallagher, what's it to you? How much is he worth? I wouldn't know. Harry. Ron. All right. I'll tell you what I know. No more than a ship with grappler arms. Nothing special. But there's gotta be something special about it. 
Why would those damn pirates push themselves to the edge of the system trying to nab it? They're pirates. Maybe you should try asking one of them. <laughs> so, Gene was just threatening your brother because of that fight. Well, that and he tried to steal his girl. I see. That's definitely a crime. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Is she your sister? N no. That's weird. You look it. Why does everyone keep saying that? Calm down, Harry. Temper on this one. Well, I guess I've lost some time. But now I can at least say that I've had drinks with all kinds of people. <laughs> Including the McDougal brothers. I think I'll take my leave now. I think I can help you. What do you mean? Help you get Gene. Now that I remember the things I can do, I'm sure I can help you get him. And why would you want to help me? Because I also remember what Gene did to me. And what's that? I remember not liking the feeling of getting shot. <laughs> Who are you? Grush staff only! <laughs> the Outlaw Star is in Port 77. Come here, you. According to its OS, it's leaving to go to Sentinel-3. Sentinel-3? That's some trip. <sighs> well, looks like I'll just have to chase it. Anyway, thanks. If you ever need the help of an outlaw, look for me in my ship, the Khazar. Adios. <laughs> That was nice of you. So I found out a couple of things, Harry. Russell Periwinkle, the Cronian I told you about, really regrets donating the ship. Also found out some Watau pirates have been trying to track it down for the past two years. Basically found out nothing else we don't already know, but we at least know that this ship really is special. Oh my! Oof. This ship is going to need a mechanic. I'm just borrowing him for a bit. How dare you kidnap me and force me into this marvelous work of art? You're soft. Why, thank you. Wait a second. I will not accept compliments from criminals. Now move your hand or else I'll bite it off. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> so, where are we going? Rhinex. The capital planet? Why? Because I think we're gonna have to find out more about Locke in order to find out more about the Aurum. And the last place Locke was before the damn pirates took him was Rhinex. Alright, let's go. Who's there? <laughs> Captain Heihotsu, sir! The Aurum is gone! Oh, man. Damn. Well, can you at least find out where it's going? Well, if the ship was still here... Forget it. We'll track them down later. Right now, I want some ice cream. 